Here's a statistic that's upsetting to a lot of people. Hate crime incidents are on the rise. The FBI for North Florida announcing today a public awareness campaign helping you know what a hate crime really is and to encourage people to report them. Our Jessica Clark is in the studio tonight with more. Well, good evening. Yes, the goal is to report hate crimes and even threats of hate crimes because so many times investigators believe people aren't reporting them because they're afraid. Well, we do have hate here. The FBI special agent in charge of the Jacksonville office was blunt, speaking about hate crimes in North Florida, pointing to the Dollar General shooting in Jacksonville in which three people were shot and killed because of the color of their skin. But not all hate crimes grab headlines. In fact, the FBI says many are underreported. And now... With the conflicts currently in the Middle East, we're all you know, at a heightened security level to make sure that we're out there monitoring and talking to the community to make sure that we are getting these reported. So the FBI is rolling out the public awareness campaign it did two years ago, urging people to report hate crimes and threats. People are certainly vocal on social media and also in public, sometimes chastising others for their race, religion, or sexual preference, but knowing if that's a rant or a threat is part of the FBI's education campaign. Expressing a view no matter how heinous and horrible it is or that we disagree with it, that, that's protected by First Amendment protected speech. And so, so obviously um, that, that is not, not a hate crime. But obviously if someone feels for their safety, if they feel like they're being threatened, you can call the FBI. We will listen and help you determine whether that's an actual crime or whether it's protected free speech. Four different sheriffs from North Florida were at the press conference supporting the message to report hate crimes, saying hate crimes hurt more than just the direct victims and their families. Because hate crimes threaten everybody who worships, looks, speaks, or shares the same beliefs as the victims. And so this was an interesting side note. The Justice Department was created in 1870. Think about that. That's just a few years after the Civil War. And one of its top priorities was to bring justice to cases in which white supremacists had used violence to terrorize black Americans. So laws dealing with hate crimes go way back. Investigating them, not so easy, but investigators cannot look into those incidents if they don't know about them. So if you feel that you have been a victim of a hate crime or a threat, you can call your local police or sheriff's office to report that. You can also call one 800 Call FBI. You can send in a tip even at tips.fbi.com. There's also a guidebook available to suggest ways to handle the situation when you feel threatened. Now, all that information is on our website. In the studio, Jessica Clark, First Coast News. Back to you.